everyone and welcome to Logic Mates tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to teach you how to create your first MySQL database. We are going to use phpMyAdmin for creating database, creating tables, inserting records, and so on. The first thing you need to do is to start your XAM service. If it's already running, press the OK. Now open the browser and just write down localhost slash phpMyAdmin. You will see a page which will show you the system databases that are built in and the databases that you have created. Okay, from here you will create your new database. Just give the name, for example, testing or anything you like depends upon the type of database you are creating okay so uh, just leave the um, types uh, collation where you see collation and other MySQL connection collation just leave it for now we'll learn what is it later just press the click button And you will be redirected to another page. Now from here you will see a name called dead testing and it shows the zero count which means that you have currently zero tables in your database which is called testing. So to create the tables Give the name to the table and the number of fields you want to create in a table. For example, call it employees. And the number of fields I would like to create in it will be 2, 3. For example, I want employee name and I want employee ID. And I also want the department in which the employee works. Now press the go button to create the table. You will see a next page which shows a number of fields and text boxes. This is actually the field name. You have two that you are going to create three fields. You have to name those fields now. For example, employee ID, EID for employee ID, and now the employee name. For example, E name. Or let's call it department ID. I'll create the department ID first. So I'll call it DID and then E name. Employee ID is an integer type. You see different types here. Select int. Department ID is also an integer type. But the employee name is not an integer type. It is a name. It should be. Character. I'll select watcher. For Varsha, you have to give the limit. Let's keep the length values. No, don't give the uh, length value in the integer type, and the default value will be 11 integers long. For Varsha, you must give the limit, maximum limit. For example, for email, 30 to 40.
Okay. So, just let go the other um, options for now. Uh, skip to no. Employee ID cannot be no. Department ID cannot be no. And employee name cannot be no as well. So don't take any one of them. As for index, index is the primary key. The primary key will be the employee ID. We will see which field is the unique field. That is, employee ID will be different for different employees. Employee name can be same. There can be two employees, two or more employees that have same name. There can be two or more employees that work in the same department. So department ID cannot be unique. The employee name cannot be unique either. So the unique ID will be employee ID because every employee has a different and unique ID. So I will make it a primary key. Alright, so there is something written as A and score I, which is auto increment. I will make this employee ID auto increment because I want automatic generation of IDs, employee IDs. For example, if the first employee comes, the ID will be uh, one, and the ID for second employee will be two, and so on, and so on. So the auto increment. You can change the auto increment value as well programmatically. Uh, later we will learn it. How can we do that? So just check the AI and now the storage engine. It says my ISAM which is for uh, Linux and inodb is for Windows. We will learn about it later. I'll keep it my ISAM. So now just save it or if you want to add more field like if you want to add employee uh, address and uh, anything you want to add just write it down the number of fields you want to add and just press go otherwise if you're done with it just click save and you will see a sequel here create table this is this is something you can write in your um, scripts and then call it through script and this is actually the UI version which is PHP my admin and if you want to create a table dynamically you can use this script so you have created your first database and you have created your first table which contains three fields so far so good but how are we supposed to insert records and manipulate them and how are we supposed to view those records and how are we supposed to view on our web pages and things like that these questions will be solved in the next part of this tutorial don't forget to watch it until then take care